but it's a thing. Okay, that was a Tunguska. One more bomb drop. Feel right. Okay, I'm missing a flap there. Okay. Yeah, I hear this guy now. Stolen, I think. He's dead. G29. Good boy. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at the M60 AMBT. And today is a special day. It's my 35th birthday. And if you're watching this video right now, at this moment in time, today, I'm live streaming on Twitch. My link is in the description below. I'm going to be having a little party just because we're in lockdown. I'm shielding my wonderful girlfriend. So I can't go out and spend time with my family. And I just thought it would be pretty cool to do just a quick little live stream and just have a party there. And if you do decide to come along, make sure you let me know that you came from YouTube. Anyway, to the nitty gritty of the video, this is the M60 AMBT. It is a Turkish modification of an old classic. as the same 120mm as the top tier Abrams, which fires this Kek W shell. 583mm of penetration, making this the second highest most penetrative round in the game. But that's really all this tank has. It's got a terrible reload, expert crew is at 7.1 seconds. It does have 1200 horsepower, but it doesn't really put that power down very well. Its reverse speed is probably the worst out of all of the MBTs at its BR. And compared to conventional rounds, even at 9.0, there's not much armor on this thing at all. No composite. And the thickness of this armor means that any APF SDS that does go through just does an insane amount of shrapnel in. As this unique 25mm practically a grenade launcher on top, but it only has 3mm of penetration. So it can't actually kill tanks. It can take out tracks, it can take out barrels for sure. But if any crew member is hit, it replaces the commander to the loader, gunner, or driver. And that renders all of the cupola mounted machine guns completely unusable. And now let's address the elephant in the room. The actual size of an elephant. This tank is ginormous. And it's not really in width, but in height. This thing, if you're going to peak a defilade, or you're just driving around, is a massive target. And any shot that hits us is going to damage something. And it really shows. How much profile can make a difference to your game? And I'm just going to come out and say it. This tank sucks. Out of all of the meta tanks in the game, at this battle rating, this is definitely the worst. Now, sure this thing gets Gen 2 thermals, but it gets no Commander's thermals at all. And I'd much rather spend my money on an actual premium. Like an XM1. It's just better in every way other than penetration. Now, I'm by no means saying this tank is useless. It's just that every other tank at 10.0 just is better. It has at least some sort of survivability, has good reload speed, better mobility, and it's not the size of your mum's house. Anyway, let's go take it into some games. Right, Tunisia, full down tier. 
the better one to go to is probably not the safest. We do have a big old turret and things sticking above our turret that give us away. But I really can't think of anywhere else that's kind of safe. That Abrams took a shot or it was just off. Hmm. There's a helicopter. hit by something. You got a hit on that chopper though. Oh I see him. Shot my cupola. I think he might have reversed in time. Oh yeah. Easily too. This chopper's gonna be a real pain. God that cannon's so loud. Dude is skimming the rocks too. I watch my battle as well. I really want to kill something with this 25mm. I reckon it'll be an epic explosion. Oh. Fuel tank shot, cool. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Cheeky chopper. Oh, he's dead. Well, what is going on over here? Oh, there he goes. I don't think that's the only thing shooting down there. I've got a hunch. Okay, we need to keep an eye out for this guy too. Wow, this thing is mega loud. Mega loud. That's an OF body, I think. Not good. If this thing is bullpups, I'm scared too. <laughs> we look almost like an SPAA. He's gone away from the battlefield now. Come to me. Come to me. Commander's been killed. Oh, hello. A gigantic forehead has got us caught out. Okay. Scary boy, 2A4. Okay, yeah. Maybe we can bait this guy to shoot my cupola? Yes. Uh, he made a mistake. I never got any of his mobility though. Is that dude dead up there? No, he is now. <laughs> right, okay. Let's uh, let's fix our fully erect machine gun now. I'm really sad that when your commander dies, you can't use the gun anymore. The good thing about APDS rounds is that yeah, they're only going to kill the commander. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. I wonder if that guy saw me. Oh no. Seahawk. Enemy prop as well. <laughs> Yikes. He's still alive too. <laughs> we got the kill for him just because we hit him with one machine gun round. This guy's fired again. He's gone now. That OF might peek us one more time. Okay, cannon breach and cannon barrels out. Oh, hello. Dude, I swear down, right? Like, anything top tier is just a deadly game of peekaboo. E64 is chasing that Leo. Hopefully we get an assist for that too. Get him, dude. Oh, he... <laughs> he went this way. I should have just shot that guy's driver in hindsight. 
Damn, dude. I'm trying to get the engine out at the same time so he can't move. But this round is so easy to shoot as well. There we go, L44 is dead. Can I get a mark on this guy? Where, whereabouts is that? It's roughly here, right? I would say. Mighty Mouse Rockets. Don't have an assist for this dude. He's probably repairing. G91 crashed into the ground. We get B. I don't want to move till this Leo's dead. He may actually be already, but I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, that might be the Swedish thing. No, it was a Roland. I kind of hate that we can't take a hit in this at all. Okay. That was scary. I have no idea where it came from either. That was a heat shell coming from somewhere. Where are you at, dude? Okay. Right, we got him, crit. We are missing a driver now. So we're down to two crew. Thankfully. Oh, okay. After he's come, dusted me off. Alright into the F-100, I guess. We spawned really close to the battlefield again. That Roland's up, so... I'm kind of concerned about where he is. I'm more scared of that Roland than I am this G-91. But between the two... It's not ideal at all. That was a really bad rocket. Oh, we can't drop our bombs because of this square thing. Who's this rolling that? We should be going too fast for this G91 who's not interested in me anyway. There's the Roland. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that Leo's dead. Or one of the two that we crit. Where's this Roland? Oh yeah, dude. Send another. There it is. Jet coming in. Roland's reloading. Just gonna carpet bomb this guy and make sure he's dead. Overshot massively. Roland's out though. You can just jet out. What is this guy doing? Don't want to lose our speed. Yeah, you've got no chance, dude. <laughs> you've got no chance. Can I want him to come up though? I let go of the trigger at the wrong time. I've got a really bad habit of doing that. I need to stop it. Getting stealth belted. Okay, SPA is dead. G91 looks like he's about to go down as well. Yeah, he's not looking too good. Oh, 
right under the bridge too. <laughs> don't kill me. Don't kill me, Gene anyone. I've got my eye on you, dude. This guy hasn't died yet, so I've no idea where he's at. Yeah, the game is over. GG! Okay, finally a 10-7 game and a map designed for World War II brawling. <laughs> so I'm not holding high hopes here. Now the problem with this tank is four crew and it seems that no matter where we're going to get shot, we're going to get critically damaged somehow. We're such a big tank. This thing is huge. We can't even hide our profile either. So we may as well not even bother. I'm just going to sit and watch this crossover. See if anyone comes this direction. We can maybe catch him out round about this. A objective. A couple of people coming this way actually. Friendly chopper? Yes. Okay, I don't think we're going to have anything come this way. So I'm just going to push up right now. Friendly off in that flank. He might be on the ten line mainly. A jet up already. Wow. Something's definitely off to my right here. Oh yeah. Big lead pans up. No, that's not. It is not. Can we damage this guy? Oh, we gotta, we gotta kill this. That's the 40 mil scary boy. Something's behind this wall over here too. Cannon breaches out on him. these 50 kills. I'm hoping someone's going to pick up that kill when that Leo I crit, but I don't think so. Yeah, he's dead now. A lot of rockets. Something must be in here. Multiple things, probably. Oh, he was facing my way. How did he know? <laughs> How did he know? I was waiting on a Tunguska or something. No, we, we won't have Tunguskas, but hey, that's is on our side too. But Roland, um, those are definitely those definitely exist for sure. Okay, we got that guy. Automatic's dead. Ouch. That's not good. So Gerard. Look at those things coming in, dude. Eggs. Keep my eye on this guy. 
There he is. I just switched my keyboard settings. Which is not cool. He's dead anyway. That is not a good thing as well there. <laughs> okay. I've hit too many buttons at once today in my bullpups. Still got a couple of bomb drops. That 94 is now dead. This thing is very angry wherever this is in the spawn. He is not even at me currently. Terrible shots. Those are my bombs dropped like way too late as well. You got him though. Enemy jet. I am not scared of that thing in the slightest. Come back for him in a minute. Stood camper on the corner. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> I actually got a fright. That was so loud. Yikes, dude. If that Seahawk gets low... We can probably do something about it with this 25mm. Our team's on the cab right now, we're holding them back. I'm not going to be able to see him probably from the cab smoke. I think he's on his way out again now. Wow. Everything is so fast at top tier. <laughs> He's like almost like strafing midair. The server's just like can't keep up. Okay. I don't think we're gonna hit that guy. I don't have the skill or the the know-how to hit <laughs> something moving supersonic for sure. Uh, something's on it. I can't drop artillery on there either. We've got teammates there. That would be a, a mistake. Something's still on A. The Glide Panzer. I think that was the only thing there. That I can see right now anyway. Well, something is definitely still there. 25. Got a warrior pushing up. Sixty four B flanked the whole way around. Good lad. Oh my goodness, there's nothing left over here. Yep. Here he comes. Oh, that's a neat ass, I think. Smooth rocket. He'll be crap after that for sure. Okay, yeah. Alright, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at all. Okay, that's my bad. So, there's the M60 AMBT. Now, it's too big to snipe with. And it doesn't have the reload speed to brawl. And the round still needs to aim for weak spots on particular vehicles, such as the 2A4 and the 122. It'll be a good collector's vehicle, that's for sure. And if you're Turkish, you know, there's the patriotic part about it as well. But at 10.0, this thing is just severely outclassed.
we'll definitely come revisit this tank at some point in the future. And I just want you guys to know that I don't like to sugarcoat anything if I don't have a good time in a tank. I'll put up the games regardless. I, just so you can see, I've played 12 games in this. We've got a 75% win ratio, but that's honestly to do with the IPM1 and the F100 more than anything else. Got a 1 to 1 KD. When you compare that to any of the other tanks that I've played, you can kind of see where I'm coming from, right? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Much love and bye bye.